Hello everybody, Zero Fossil Fuel from AEPC 2009 in Waldorf, Maryland. Joining me right now is the infamous Dustin, a.k.a. Smackmaster. Cool, Smack, man, good, good to see you again, man. Good it's it's, again, it's always great to be with you at, the, at these shows. Um, and uh, you, brought, you brought a lot of stuff. You've been screwing around this morning, blowing some <laughs> up. And, uh, we're, what was that? Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to edit that out. You've been screwing around a lot today, blowing some stuff up. And uh, what, did, what did you bring with you? What are you showing us today? Uh, I'm showing uh, right now my current product line, which is the, uh, the BB Smack dual unit. This is a tribute to Bob Boyce's um, TerraCell design. And I also uh, I've been posting a lot in the groups about my quad unit. Here it is. This is basically uh, two of these guys side by side. 40 amps, 4 liters a minute right here. So uh, there will be um, efficiency testing videos that I'll be doing uh, coming up. Um, basically, this is the first time I've uh, displayed the unit, first time it's really been seen. So uh, stay tuned on my channel for more, uh, for more posts on the efficiency tests on that unit. So, All right. Yep. I want to I talk about this, this gadget you got over here. This, this is interesting. This Maxilla cell. Um, this is the um, cell that's been featured in some of my videos in the uh, 1997 Ford Ranger. I call this EV Assist. Um, and the reason why I, I call it EV Assist is because we're generating uh, hydroxy gas independent of the vehicle's charging system using two deep cycle batteries uh, to generate um, hydroxy in this series cell, uh, series pla slash parallel cell design, which is basically 94 pl plates and it can produce up to 8 liters a minute. Um, and we've done some tests on the Ranger and we were able to post uh, a solid 30% uh, at 3 liters a minute. Um, anything above three liters a minute and the engine started detonating and our mileage went back down. So we're continuing uh, testing. That vehicle unfortunately has a solid state distributor. You can't adjust the timing easily. So we kind of curtailed our testing at that point until we can get a uh, timing control unit. To and how do you adjust the, the gas output on this to, to bring it back down? Uh, we, we control that currently by um, electrolyte concentration. But thanks to you and your awesome PWM units that can handle up to 150 amps, I'm actually going to um, hook. Um, you gave me, a, I bought a 150 amp uh, PWM from you, and I'm going to use that on this cell because it is a 12 volt cell. Yep. So I will be using um, that uh, PWM because um, I'm about running about 100 amps through this, so I know it'll be able to take it. So we'll be. That's how we'll be controlling our current. All Thank day, you very all, much. All, all day long, man. Good all luck with that. Long. Yep. Now I want to talk about the car that you've got here. It's uh, it's an Oldsmobile Cutlass. 1987 Oldsmobile Cutlass. Uh, the engine's been highly customized. Um, uh, the intake has been uh, ported, uh, matched uh, to the heads. Uh, it's been planed down. Um, the uh, compression ratio has been increased. It's got high performance pistons, stainless steel valves, headers, you know, all the usual hot rodding stuff, and, uh, and also a 150 shot of NOS. And on top of all that, I've implemented um, my isolated series cell design, uh, hydrogen boosting on the engine, and I've been posting 16%. Uh, um, with the old design, I have not yet um, gathered all the numbers uh, for this new design yet. Um, I'm in the middle of testing. I'm halfway through. Um, I put this cell in right before I left uh, to come here to Maryland, um, and I'm towing a trailer. And with the booster on, I was getting with the trailer. I was getting 15 miles per gallon. So on the way home, I will be running without the booster. It's about 1,800 miles, and I will be co uh, comparing those numbers and posting the results, um, and we'll see what we get. Okay. And Always testing. Always. Never stops. That's right, man. And I, and I see you got my uh, my pulse width modulator in here. It looks beautiful. I, I love it. Um, I'm glad and it clears. It works. I'm you glad it clears the hood. <laughs> it clears the hood. It works. You set it. I asked you to set it at 24 amps. I've got a tinty little amp meter on there. It's not very accurate, but from what I can tell, we're it's sticking right there at 24, 25 amps. So I'm very, very pleased. I haven't overcurrented the cell. I've got it at 28 percent, as you know, as you recommend, the optimal uh, electrolyte concentration. And I haven't overcurrented or overdriven the cell. So I'm very, very pleased with its performance. Beautiful. Yeah, well, thank you very much. Good. Well, thank you. It's and a good product. And, and, and good. Good, good luck with your your test here. That's a beautiful engine. Thank you. And. Uh, Glad to see you here again. Absolutely. Good luck at the we're show. Just, hey, we're just here to spread the news, and you know, uh, I, I came to this show to present a working viable system for those people that say it doesn't work. I'm here. You know, it's it, this vehicle is here for all to witness, including all the naysayers and people that say it doesn't work. We have brought, you know, we've put our necks on the line. And we've brought our products out here to be viewed, to be scrutinized, to be challenged. Uh, that's what it's all about: spreading the news and getting the information out there that there are alternative ways to uh, utilize energy than, than we're con conventionally used to and that we've been taught. 
So, and that's what we're doing here. That's what we're doing. We're trying to open people's minds up. All right. That's it for now. Zero Fossil Fuel from APEC 2009 in Waldorf, Maryland. Peace.